I was watching some some street preaching videos, open air preaching, and I see these hecklers coming up and saying, oh, evolution is true, and all sorts of different things, and um, talking about the Big Bang and how that created everything and that, and I was thinking... I was thinking that it would be really good to see these street, um, street preachers say, uh, the, where did the first life form come from? Did it come from a rock? Hey, sir, did the first living thing come from a rock? Don't you think that's a bit silly? How much information is in a rock? You know? And when they go on about the Big Bang and everything, it would be good if they said something to the effect of, um, you know, um, if there's no God, did things exist forever? And if they did, how, how did we get to this point in time? If things were always existing, forever would never get to now. You can't get to the end of infinity. Like, you can't keep counting forever and then have a rest because you'd never finish. And you'd never get to this point in time if things existed forever. Okay? That is something that would be really good to hear the street preachers say. Because it makes a lot of sense. If things exi existed forever, you'd never get to now. You can never stop counting if you count forever. <laughs> you could never get to this moment in time. And it makes no sense to think that the first living thing came from a rock. If you ask an evolutionist, where did the first living thing come from? Just see what they say. And when you say to them that, oh, evolution and is a religion... They say, oh no, evolution is not a religion. And then you say, okay, well, you would have no problem explaining it to me since it's not a religion. You should know. If it's not your religion, you can explain it. And most of the time, they have no idea. And it's like, okay, well, if it's not a religion, why? You, you believe it without having any idea about evolution. So, yeah. It's just a couple of things that I was thinking about.